everyone, Bella Maya here. Welcome back to my channel. I know I have been gone for a minute, but I live in Silicon Valley and we've been having horrible weather out here. The sun is finally ready to come out in his glory and I decided to film today because I film with natural lighting. So I'm sorry if I've been gone for a while. Um, if you'd like to get this look, it's um, an orange lip, orange lid look. It's an eyes and lips tutorial. Keep watching. I'm going to be using these shadow shields and basically I took one and I cut it in half. And right where that line is, is right where I'm going to stick these two. Basically by doing this, it's a foolproof method to ensure that both sides are equal. Um, I don't really like to use scotch tape. I, it pulls at your skin and it tugs the skin, plus the glue is really harsh. Everybody, like, I don't know if you know this, but the eye area, the, the skin around your eye area is extremely gentle and you need to take care of it and I don't want to put that harsh glue on my face and these shadow shields are actually made for your skin. Now that I've um, smudged out the liner that I used, the NYX Wonder Pencil, now I'm going in to start creating some dimension on my crease. And to do so, I'm going to be using my box and my shadow again. This is what it looks like. The name of this is um, Invite Only and it's a very brownish nude color. And I love it because it will go good with any, you know, any skin tone. And it's a really good transitioning color. And basically, I'm going in with this Royal and Langnickel brush. These brushes I found at Walmart. And I just want to talk about them. They're amazing. I have two others, but they're dirty right now. Um, but they are awesome. If you can get your hands on them, I strongly suggest you do so because you won't be disappointed. So yeah, um, this one, it's dirty because I didn't make up yesterday. But um, yeah, I'm going to be using this invite only with this side of the brush. And I'm just going to buff that into my crease. Okay, so now that I've done that, um, I'm going with my, this is the other one. I said those, these two came in one box, two of them for $7. Um, I'm going to be using this one. It's a shader, MD shader brush, and I'm going to be using this Boone's Orange color in my box and palette. And basically, I love, I really need to stop saying basically. So, um, <laughs> so I love this orange color. The name of it is It Crowd. And just look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's so freaking pretty. Just look at it. And, and I love it because it's a strange orange color. And this color is going now. It's like a big trend because it's sort of 70s-esque. And, um... What I love about these box and my shadows is that they are extremely pigmented and they blend and they last all day long. Just patting it, shading in. This is a shader brush, so I'm just shading it onto the lid area and I'm not bringing it, I'm stopping right at the end of my pupil, so I'm not carrying it all the way in because I'm going to be putting a gold color there. I'm try something new. And I saw the Boxum kiosk or the Boxum display and I said, you know what, I've never really fiddled with Boxum too much, let me go try it. And I bought one and I tried it and then boom, seven eyeshadows, no wait, ten eyeshadows later, I'm in love. Now, um, if you're into golds and burgundies and like, you know, earthy colors, earth tones, you're going to love this gold. This is hands down one of the best golds I have ever used. Richard Parker is hunting. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry about the noise. So I won't really consider this. I don't know if I would consider it a drugstore brush because I got this at bought the body shop and it's $11 and basically it's a large smudger brush it looks like um, you know those 
puffed um, applicators that you get in eyeshadow, in eyeshadow kits and I love it. It, la it will last you long because I've washed this like close to eight times already and look at it, it, it looks, still looks brand new. And this, if you are familiar with ColourPop, it's kind of hard to pull the product off of the, to pull the product and apply it. You need either, you need to use a synthetic brush, but I've tried so many brushes and I've never found one that um, I liked. So I said, you know what, let me try this. And I tried it and this, I have been loving this brush. It's $11, get it, you won't go wrong. So I'm taking this and I'm putting it on the inner corner of my eye and I'm patting it in. When you're using shimmery or shadows with a bit of glitter or pigment, you want to pat it in. You don't want to move back and forth. When you're moving back and forth, it's gonna, it's, it's not going to pop out. It's not going to stand out at you. So you just want to slowly add this into the corner, the inner corner of your eye. Now that I've done that, I've put the gold. I'm going back in with my box and my shadow with the same shade of brush. And I'm just going to dab it in the orange. And I'm going to put it exactly where those two colors meet. Now I am going to... This is an e.l.f. brush. Um, it's a blending brush. On point, $3. Love it. And this is just... I'm just going to be blending out where the two colors meet. Right there. Boom. I'm going back in with my ColourPop, same Get Lucky, and I'm going to pat it in. So now I'm going in with this brown color hair right to the edge. I don't remember the name of it, but um, I will leave all the products that I use, a list of all the products that I use down below. It's a muddy brown, it looks exactly like mud actually. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like right here. And um, basically, I'm using that same Royal Long Nickel brush, and I'm just working it into the outer crease. I'm just working it into the outer corner of the eye. See, I, I, I've made a mistake with the lining of my eyes, and I don't like how it's coming out. This is a Maybelline Long Lasting Copper Tone Eyeshadow um, Eyeliner. And I'm just going to try to cover it. There we go. And then I'll go back in with the liner. I was going to use this after, by the way, but now that I've made that mistake, I'm going to do it before. It just disappears. I love this, these liners from Maybelline. They are really good and they last all day. Like I had to, when I swatched it the first time when I got it, I had to wipe and wipe for it to come out. So I'm just smudging in some of the orange and brown just to give, just to go, you know, just to do the lower lash line. There we go. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, I'm going to take these babies off. And um, yeah, let's see how it came out. Easy to come off. That crisp line. Look at that. Easy to come off. Yes, they're equal. Yes, yes, yes. So now that I've primed my lids with my MAC Prep and Prime and this Chela lip pencil. Um, that I got in my Ipsy bag last month. I'm going to be applying my matte temper in Urban Decay's matte lipsticks. This is hands down one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. And um, yeah, I'm going to be using it with a brush first. This is a NYX lip brush in number 20. And um, I'm going to be applying it directly to my lips. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to focus on the outer, like I'm going to line the lip first and then I'll focus on the inside. So now that I've lined those lips, I'm going to be applying the lipstick directly from the tube just to fill in the center area. I've done that. 
I'm going to blot it. Use a little bit of translucent powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder. This is in 100. And I'm just going to slightly put it over the lip. Then I'm going back in with the Urban Decay Matte Tempo. And now, by doing with when you're doing this, you just want to pat the lipstick in, like so. This is a foolproof way of making your lipstick last all day long. It's not a liquid lipstick, but by doing those few steps it's gonna make your lipstick last even longer. Let's just blot one more time. And we're done. That's it. Um, I love how this look turned out. It is a orange lip, orange lid. I love how this look turned out. It looks pretty. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating it. It's an eye and lip look. It's burnt orange. It's goodness. These colors are going right now. Um, please like my video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Spread the word. It's really hard to get your name out there in the YouTube world. So please subscribe. Give me your support and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.